this group is special, and it is. I mean, we have, you know, everybody in Class D has a stud. They have a couple studs, maybe three studs. We got a bunch of studs. We have a bunch of really good basketball players, a bunch of guys that can get it done. Uh, you know, we have guys that can go off. They can make their own shot. They can get in the lane. They can play good defense. And we have a couple guys that know their role, know what they should do and shouldn't do. Um, I mean, just kind of all adds up to us being here. We had a walkthrough, and it's like, gosh, should we try a boxing one on him and just see what they do? And uh, you know, we went to it right at the end of the second quarter, and they just went and had him stand in the corner. Boy, we should probably come back to that later. If he's not going to move and not look to get the ball, that would be great. And, you know, we just threw bread on him. He's probably our fifth best defender on the floor, and we thought if we could burn our fifth best guy and take their best away. <laughs> I love you, Brett. Uh, we can keep our other four guys in there to guard those five. I mean, that's, that's perfect, and it worked. Well, offensively, um, you get in that game, and uh, you know, I think that we could have done a better job of obviously executing. Um, but we had kids out there in a championship game that are trying to make plays, and, and, and there's got to be a balance between that. But at times, I think that hurt us a little bit because we were trying to make plays too quick rather than work the ball offensively. <laughs> I thought it was actually going to go out. I was looking, uh, but no, that's never happened to me. And uh, it was really cool, and it just kept bouncing, bouncing. I thought it was going to go out, and it went in. It was big momentum. Uh, it was a game changer. I expect it from this guy. Uh, this guy is a stud. His brother's a stud. Uh, these guys have been getting it done for us all year. Uh, you know, obviously Jacob. He's he's a shooter. He's he's had some some bad games. He's. Uh, he's had more good than bad, though. I mean, when he's on, I mean, that first quarter buzzer beater, I think we saw a little clip of that. That was that was deep, and I knew it was going in. I mean, he's he's just a great player. Um, Ethan sets the tone. He had probably his best game of his career yesterday against Paxton, uh, shutting down their big guy. And I, I didn't even realize he had 13. I looked at the stat sheet, and like that was a really kind of quiet 13 that you put up tonight. That's that was pretty impressive. I have so many emotions going through me right now. Just win that first state championship for our school. It's just amazing feeling. This guy's dad was on the Humphrey Public 1987 state championship team. It was a pretty cool deal. Yeah, absolutely. I've been playing basketball probably f since I was in like kindergarten. So, you know, I'm always around basketball, never leave it. And I don't know, these guys are the same. I've been playing basketball with him since he was in kindergarten. I guess right away we clicked. You know, we, we known each other forever. Our chemistry is out of this world, so I don't know. We're all we all like each other. We've been doing, and we'd go over to Brett's house. Uh, we'd play a little two-on-two. -two. Me and Jason were supposed to, and uh, it's always been competitive with us. But we've always been like brothers. Well, I have two brothers, and Brett's been like a brother to us. But uh, it's just really special.